Jesus is the head of all rule and all authority. We've been in Colossians for a few months now, and we're, we're only in chapter 2. But we've talked over and over again about the word all. All is a big word, right? Like When I say all, rarely do I mean all. Right? It's, it's an exaggeration for a lot of us, but God doesn't exaggerate. And so when we see the word all in Scripture, when we see God being described with the word all, it literally means all. It means everything that can be is in Him. In fact, all is so important that it's used 20 times just in the first two chapters of Colossians. Jesus created all things. All things are sustained by him. And without Jesus, there is no rule or authority because he is the head of all rule and authority. It's because of this that Paul could write with confidence in Romans 13, 1, let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. That's hard for a lot of us. There is no authority except by God. But I see a lot of authorities not doing godly things. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm supposed to believe what Scripture says. It's not for me to measure, it's for me to believe. It's for me to trust. Because we start making excuses, but listen to verse, listen to the next verse, Romans 13, 2, to hear how serious God is about this. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. Jesus is the head of all rule and authority, so we trust in Jesus, we follow Jesus, and we worship Jesus by being subject to authority. Again, this is hard for us, because this is when we come up with all kinds of scenarios to determine when we get to resist, right? Well, but if they do this, then, they, you know, if they, they ask us to do that, then certainly. But again, think about Romans chapter 13, verse 2. Paul writes very clearly that to resist authority is to resist God. We think about what if the government says this or that? What if the government demands that we do something that God forbids? But I believe that the Bible is really clear about this. We must obey God, but we are always subject to the authority. That means that if the authority errs, we obey God, but we remain subject. 